Hey guys, what is going on? Deboki here once again, and it is time for a Maple Story video with our cups of soup. I just realized that I'm about to level I'm 96%, so let me just go ahead and do that really quick, and uh, let's get into it, guys. I'm excited. I got a lot of things that I want to do today. I am going to go ahead and first just go to Weekend Dream Keepers. We'll go hit around here for a little bit till we level. I usually like to hit around on this map. These guys are just plump and delicious. Super satisfying to hit. I want to go in and, of course, push some bosses. I want to upgrade my gear. But if you notice there in the bottom right hand corner right here, I have 2,991 coins. I've been trying to collect them daily and uh, get as many as I can possible. It actually kind of sucked. I was uh, pretty sick this past week and I was like off of social media and off of YouTube and content creating. And I felt like I fell pretty behind in this event as well. But I tried to get on and at least get the coins as much as I could because I really want those rings. And I think I can afford a few of the rings right now. So I'm pretty pumped about that. But yeah, it was it was pretty bad. I'm just gonna say it guys, instant ramen betrayed me. I, I didn't think it was possible, but it put me down for about a week. I got like really bad food poisoning or something from it. It was really messed up. I felt really hurt. It was just like the principle of the whole thing. I mean like, come on. Out of all the foods, instant ramen betrays me like that? Oh my gosh. After all the love that I've shown instant ramen. And then right when I was like recovering from it, I got my second COVID shot which that really destroyed me as well. So I'm finally recovered though, I'm feeling good. Um, and, and I'm ready to get back into it, guys. I feel like I'm like a moth that just blossomed. Wait, why did I say moth? Why can't I be a butterfly? I feel like I'm a butterfly that just blossomed from the cocoon. I'm ready to eat all the instant ramens now. Nothing can stop me. I'm pretty excited, guys. Um, I talked about it last video, but I think I'm gonna try to drive over to California in September which we're finally finalizing some of those plans, which is gonna be super awesome. Um, I'm gonna be meeting my friend Jin over there and I'm just gonna be working working from Cali for a bit. The big 222, two, two, ladies and gents. Here we go, what a number, 222. Two, two. That's too, too many twos, man, let me tell ya. And the thing is, like, I do really wanna make another character soon just cause this event is so awesome for the rings. I didn't realize how badly, like, I'm hurting for rings um, until I didn't have any rings on my finger. So making a new character right now for those rings sounds really tempting, but I just can't do it yet until I finish the goals with our beautiful cups of soup. We need to keep our priorities straight, our goals in line, but we got this. Princess No is going down. And the Neo update's coming out for MapleStory 2? I have no idea what that's about. I'm part of the Bean Brigade and all, guys, and ugh, God, I'm just telling you right now, I am so, like, disconnected. I'm so bad at, like, keeping up with communities and stuff like that. Also, I really appreciate you all from the last video, just showing me so much support and love when I was talking a little bit about, you know, just wanting to juggle everything and... I was kind of feeling a little down, I think, but you guys are awesome. Thank you so much for the kind words and just always the support. Y'all are just so sweet. I've been doing your guys' suggestion as well. I'm not leveling up my VIP card anymore with cups of soup. I'm farming the coins on like gentle straws and then um, leveling up through there. So thank you so much for giving me that tip. I didn't know you could do that, so that is excellent. Getting these coins are just so helpful right now. I don't think you guys seen a cups of soup level in a while. We are blessed. Oh my gosh. All right, ladies and gents, 99.95%. Here we are. 222. Let's go. <laughs> oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about. All right. We got a level. We're feeling good. We are feeling super good. Let's get it. Ooh, decent sharp eyes. Guys, this is actually game changer. I can now go ahead and cube my gloves away with this decent sharp eye skill. Cause now I got the node and we can use the node. Oh my gosh, that's gonna be great. Okay, 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 okay. What do you guys think? Should we treat ourselves to some rings? I think we should. I think we definitely should. Ring me up for some rings, please. I do really want this chaos ring. We're gonna get these two rings for now. I'm gonna get the vengeful and the cosmos ring. I know probably these are better, but I'm anxious and antsy. Let's see these. Reboot cosmos ring coupon. Nice, and the vengeful ring coupon. 
Oh, yes. And it comes with potential, too. Let me see how much it costs to cube these Oculus cubes. Oh, my gosh. We should just do this then. Let me get these to Epic with these cubes. I might be here for a while. So, yeah. I'll see you guys in like an hour <laughs> while I try to cube these to Epic. I'm so glad that these are only like 36k a reroll. Definitely worth doing this than wasting an Epic potential scroll, I think, on this thing. And if you guys are wondering what I'm doing right now, um, I'm using the free Oculus cubes or the Occult cubes to try to get this to at least epic. When I say free cubes, those cubes I got from all bossing, I have like 2,000 of them, and the max tier rate you can get is up to epic. So like some rerolls though are like 500k per reroll, and it's just not worth it because this tier rate is just so low. But sometimes you gotta get lucky, you know, that is an adorable narwhal right there, kinky wizard. Oh, I love narwhals. They're the unicorns of the sea, you know, like look at that. That is an absolute unicorn right there. Sherbert! Why is Sherbert dying right now? Oh, finally! Oh my gosh. Uh, uh, only took a lot. Only took a lot. Now this one, I'm going to go ahead and throw an epic potential scroll on there. Because if you notice, if I try to use the occult cube on this, 450k per reroll. Let's do like a 1.1 bill cubing session. Oh my gosh. Every time I come into cash shop, there's something new. What is this? Black swan set and white swan set? Whoa. Oh, you guys might not be able to see it. My face might be blocking, but look at that. Wow, I am beautiful. It's actually a really pretty dress. Can I call this a dress? Like, wh what are these called? Dress skirts? Dirts? A scress or something? Or a... It's like a cross between a skirt and a dress. I don't know if, like, a dress needs to be a certain length, or is it just, like, a one-piecer? Uh, I'm not very into fashion, so I don't really know. These pets are adorable. Baby birdie? Oh, my gosh. Now I just want to make a new character to get these pets. No! <laughs> Maple story, why? Why? Why do you do this to me? Let's get like this many reds and let's get this many blacks and a few more reds. Okay, there it is. It's hard for me to like gauge my range right now. Just it fluctuates so much, but we'll try to get like a good estimate on where we at and uh, where we end at. Okay, right now with these buffs on, we're at like 2.3 mil. All right, 2.3 mil. 10k overall strength, 2.3 mil range. All right, so what items do we want to cube, first of all? Of course, the rings, they're going to be our priority, the overall or the top. Okay, <laughs> I think I got it. So I organized my items, all right? So my first two I'm going to work on are these two, and then I'm just going to go down the line and work on these ones next. That sounds pretty good. <sighs> Let's get started, guys. Let... No, I just pushed the button and I undid everything my hard work of organizing. All right, let's go ahead and get started, guys. First item up, Reboot Cosmos Ring. Let's go ahead and just get it warmed up with the one cube I have, and there it goes. Too unique right away. What? Whoa. Okay. All right, so that's unique now. Um, but it's strength 6%, which is still pretty good. All right, well, that was that one cube abuka. Is that just going to hurt the rest of our cubing session or what? I think we still try to just push it. I think I want to try to get this to unique. What I'm going to do is if I hit 6% strength again, that's a lot of MP. I'm going to go ahead and use, okay, I'm going to go ahead and stop there. I'm going to use a black cube now to see if these will go ahead and give it a bit more better chance of tearing up. I, I feel like black cubes do have a better, there it is right there, baby. I was just about to say, I think they have a better chance of tearing up. It might all be in the head, but here it is. 9% strength. I like it. So this one we're going to go ahead and put into the semi-done column. I want this to get to at least 9% strength. I'm going to go ahead and pop it. A lot of 6% strength coming out to play. That is 9% strength. All right, we'll keep that. That's at the semi-done column. Let's go ahead and move up the line now. What we're doing is we're just trying to get a good even like tear up across the board. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so this is 6% strength. What I'm going to do is I'm going to throw some red cubes on here to get it warmed up until we hit either a tear up or our next 6% strength. Once we hit our next 6% strength, then I'm going to go ahead and use a black cube on it. All right, so 6% strength. I'm going to go ahead and pop a black cube on here now. Just a few. I'm tricking it to make it feel special. That's that's the goal here with these black cubes at the moment. There we go. There we go with the strength 9% on it. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is semi done. Put it on the second semi done row. Now this one, we're going to do the same technique. We're going to go ahead and throw some red cubes on here until it gets to 6% strength again. All right, 6% strength. And then I'm going to go ahead and throw some black cubes on here. Oh, this one's hurting me though. This one is hurting me. Okay, this one's not tearing up as quick as I would like it to. 
So we did burn through all of our black cubes, which kind of sucks. I'm going to brute force some red cubes on here now. This one is stubborn, ladies and gents. This one is stubborn. Wow. Okay, I'm going to hit my next 6% strength and I'm going to slow down. All right, 6% strength. We're slowing down a little bit. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and cube some of my unique items. I don't know if I can hit these items right now because we're running pretty low on cubes. And I want to push these a little bit further. First up, we're going to go ahead and do the ring. So what I'm looking for right now, 15% strength or a beautiful tear up, right? 9% strength that gives it to us? But we keep pushing forward. We are playing with fate right now. Oh, -ho -ho -ho! let's go. Legendary. Meso obtained 20%. Pretty nice, but let's just uh, push it a little bit. Meso percent line. I'm, I'm looking for a good strength line and a meso line. I don't know if we're going to hit it though. This is my last cube. Last cube, we're rolling away 9% strength. All right. We pulled all of our meso, guys. 320 mil. We are absolutely broke. Make meso to spend meso. Let's go. I got 24 more red cubes now. And we are going to go ahead and cube this thing. No way! 21% strength. Let's get it. Let us get- No, 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 no. Not one more try. No, no, no. This is good. Stop. Hopefully get this to legendary or 15% strength with 20-some cubes here. Let's go. 12% strength here. We're keeping it. How much cubes do we have left? 11 cubes? That's not like a, a number I'm comfortable with, but I am comfortable enough to keep away actually this legendary ring right here for something better. I have the silver blossom ring legendary. That's 9% strength. I'm going to go ahead and throw 11 red cubes on here. There it is. 18% strength. Let's go. Oh my gosh. That int up there. That's what feels bad. 2.5 mil. We started at 2.3 mil. What a push, guys. 11K, 11.5K strength now. Feeling good about that, guys. Feeling pretty good about that. Oh, hello. So, oh, they're so kind. Everyone's wishing me good luck for the Sea Queen run. All right, guys, let's do it. Let's go, ladies and gents. Here we are. Chaos Queen, 3.2 mil range right now. So you guys taught me, though, a few things in there that I'm going to go ahead and try to practice. I just got to be careful to damage reflect while I'm in the bossing stance. Let's go. Doing a little early moon. So someone asked if why I don't summon big boy, this guy here. And the reason why I don't summon this guy in boss fights, which maybe correct me if I'm wrong, Hayato mains, but I feel like you need mobs in order for it to... um be more effective if that makes sense oh and this you guys showed me that i don't need to be worried about the booty <laughs> so that is excellent there because i feel like um the big boy only gives me energy back when i it kills like more mobs nearby oh never mind holy smokes that was really good that gave me a lot of energy back maybe i need to reread that skill because that was awesome all right i definitely need to be using big boy now more feel my pain shoot that is not what i want Oh, I need to get off bossing stance. So I need to get off bossing stance because she's going to reflect. And when she reflects, my bossing stance triggers. It's like a, it has a little bit of damage that puts out and it just kills me. So I need to be careful of vampire right now. I don't have, that's vampire. Shoot. I think she just vampired me and I did not dodge it. I did not dodge it. I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh my gosh. All right. I kind of want her to get out of this because... I hate vampire. All right, she's out of it. She's out of it. Two ashes. This should be fine. I'm going to definitely save my iframes for that. Those are cheap deaths right there. I cannot afford that. I'm going to summon big boy. I'm a little bit scared about this because the mirror. I don't really have a burst, do I? Where's the mirror? I'm going to try to burst the mirror down as best I can. Nice. Big burst. I'm not using my Hitori strike yet or my moon because I want to make sure I save it for the iframe. Oh my gosh, we're putting out some mad damage right now. Getting out of bossing stance. I'm just taking it in the face right now, apparently. Alright, turning on bossing stance. Just waiting for the vampire skill. Vampire, iframing. Nice dodge. Let's go. So I am still a little bit worried about the mirror. I think the mirror we still gotta be careful about. She's going back in it. Oh my gosh, she's going back in it. What in the world? Did she get me the vampire? Or am I just burning from it? Okay, I think I'm just burning from the fire here. Okay, good, 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 good. I think we can actually do a moon skill. Get up our DPS here. Hiya! That was scary. That was scary. Oh, this is so good. Nice. Oh, we definitely got this now. Where's the mirror? Where's the mirror? There it is. Pop it down, pop it down. Ooh, okay, I use an iframe. That might have been a little bit ambitious. 
Shouldn't have done that. Feel my pain. All right, here we go, guys. We got two iframes right now. We should be fine. I saw a comment also asking what iframe means. Iframe is invincibility frame. It's a moment where you don't take any damage, and it's very good and useful to dodge attacks, like the vampire skill. That skill right there. So that one right there, I just dodged it. So Hayato has two. That strike and the moon skill. I'm dead here. I'm dead here. Oh, how did I live? All right, I'm going to actually moon here. We're just dishing out the damage. I think this is the home stretch right here, guys. Let's go. Come on now. Oh, we got it. We got it. Come on. Let's get it. Oh, oh my gosh. We did it. We did it. Hi, Yuki. She always likes to come and congratulate me after I defeat a hard boss. <laughs> Thank you, Yuki. Thank you, baby. And here it is. The Royal Warrior Helm. Beautiful. Let's go and transfer this over. Oh, huge gains. Do we try? Why not? While we have all of our buffs going, let's give it a shot, guys. Yeah, thank you. Aw. <laughs> he was waiting out in front for me to see if I would have gotten a success. We're going to try clown, guys. We're just going to give it a shot and see what it's like. We're going to have to like just let all the stars align, though, for the burst. All right, really quick. If you guys aren't familiar with the clown mechanics, let me go ahead and just try to break it down to you one more time here. When the health gets down to about a third or a fourth left, it will split. And when I mean split, like, it will have one red clown and one blue clown. And you have to kill them both at the exact same time, or they will keep splitting. And it is just unkillable. And having two clowns running around on this map is just ridiculous. It's horrible. So that's why what people like to do is try to bind the clown, clown right at, like, right before it's about to split, and then just burst it down. So some strategies is that if you have the different color hat on, you do bonus damage, you do more damage. So you really wanna, like I said, let the stars align and just burst as much damage as you can. Problem with Hayato though, is I just don't think there's a mad amount of burst damage. So like this right now, I'll do, I think 20% more damage to him right now, because I have blue hat and he has red hat on. We're actually about to get the bursting zone here. So I'm gonna kind of slow down a little bit soon. It's right in between the death count and the time left box. Sorry if I keep repeating myself. I feel like I say that every time I fight clown, I, I give you guys a breakdown, but just in case if there's some newer players out there wondering what's happening with this boss fight. All right, so right now I can't hit him because then I'll heal him. We have the same color hats on, so I just need to chill. That's a huge amount of burst though. Oh, I don't know if I can do this whole burst. I uh, I think I can hit him just a little bit more. I think we're gonna wait a little bit now. All right, red, please. Blue, oh, this guy's trolling me right now. Dudes, he is not giving me the right hat color. Here we go, let's go. The bind, hit, we're mooning. We got a burst now, we got a burst. Huge burst, huge burst, please. Come on. No! He's gonna split, he's gonna split, he's gonna split. He split, he split. I didn't have it. Oh no. There's troubles in the boondocks, ladies and gents. We were so close. All right, so we're gonna try to get them down all at the exact same then, and then try to do some crazy AOE burst. I don't know. Okay, so from if you're here then, what we're gonna need to do is get both of them down low, and then we kill ourselves so we have no hat on, so that we can go ahead and burst them down. Oh shoot, that's not what we need. Because when you die, you don't have any hat colors on. So this is actually perfect time to try to do your burst. Because you can go ahead and hit them both. Oh, I dodged the hats. This is actually really good. This is- oh shoot, this is really bad. Did they just split again? I hate it. I hate it. Clown is so bad. No, please, please. And then the amount of hats that drop is double. So you're just dealing with it all right now. And then I'm healing too. Oh my gosh. I'm trying to do like really, really like small hits in between. I only have three minutes left. I guess die again. Oh, that was so hard. Oh man. That's what happens when they split. That's what happens when they split. Clown got me. Oh man, clown so hard. Still humongous gains though. I, I'm still super happy about where we are at right now. I am just a little bit concerned about the clown. After clown, I think it's princess no time. 
But let me go and push some more gains, maybe get another ring, get some more cubes in. I feel like we could have had it if we just had a little bit more damage bursting out there. If you guys have any tips on how to take down Clown, I would love to hear that as well. Because um, I still struggle if I'm not able to burst it down. But thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate all of you. This was a, this was a lot of fun. I, I'm so happy with the gains and the boss takedowns. Much love, one love, guys. Thank you so much. We'll be seeing you guys later. Goodbye.